the Word of God breaks down how there's lots of people, have lots of visions, lots of things that they're going to claim, and they're going to claim are from God. But what we see being repeated over and over again in these chapters is there's a difference between what God actually says and what other people are claiming God said. What God, you know, who God's actually speaking to. God's actually speaking to Jeremiah. Jeremiah actually received the word of the Lord. And you know what? That was proven because the children of Israel went captive. And every single time that Jeremiah made a prophecy concerning what was going to happen that hadn't happened yet, they always came true. And everyone else was saying the opposite. Guess what? <laughs> we know who was true. We know who was of God. We know who was receiving the word of the Lord based on what actually even happened. And in the book of Jeremiah, who is a tried and true prophet of God, it tells us, yeah, there's going to be all these prophets, and God's not with these people. They're claiming God, but th that doesn't mean that they're of God. They're claim making all kinds of claims. But they didn't receive the word of the Lord. And the big problem with what they're saying is it's contradicting what God actually said. So if anyone wants to come at you with a feeling, with hearing, I've had someone say, I heard this small, still voice. Right? Because it, they, they want to hear what, you know, some other prophet heard. They, they want to put themselves in the Bible and have the same story that's already been recounted. You know, people say, I met God. Or I almost died. I shouldn't be here right now. If you only knew, it's like, okay, well, how do I go to heaven then? I mean, God saved your life. Great. But just because God saved your life physically doesn't mean that your, your, your soul is saved. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Well, how are we supposed to try those spirits? We try them against truth. We try them against the word of God. People need to recognize that there is absolute truth, and God has given it to us. There is absolute truth. Things are either right or wrong. True or untrue. John 17, 17 Jesus said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The word of God is truth. That's our foundation. That's our starting point. You want to know about God? Learn about God through the truth. Where is the truth? Thy word is truth. We have the word of God. We trust the word of God. God has promised to keep his word. We can know about him through that it is the word of God that ultimately matters and where your foundation should lie. Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Our faith is derived from, I mean, how are you even saved? You can't get saved without the word of God. The word of God is the foundation of everything that we believe and know about God. It comes from the word of God. 